fellow mermaids and thank you for tuning in. What we have on the menu for you guys today is my favorite items. Uh, okay, favorite. <laughs> Rewind. Some items I love at Lululemon for spring. These are some like staples and some new pieces and just if you're like, hey, spring is here, which it's not really in them to it's still cold. But we can pretend, because if you just dress like it's spring, it's spring. I put together some looks, some separate pieces. I talked to some of the people at Lululemon and they gave their opinions on some items because they know best. Put together this video, I don't really know what else to intro. <laughs> this is world's worst Introduction, Kelty. Wow. <laughs> Give yourself a nice pat on the back. Thanks for sticking around if you already have. <laughs> Haven't peaced out. Appreciate you. Uh, yeah, so here are... Ugh. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Yeah, here are some of my favorite items at Lululemon for springtime that I think are going to be really cute, really fashionable, versatile, and just great for the spring season. Oh god, that was painful. <laughs> here they are. So the first thing is the time to sweat crop, which have been really popular. These are a higher intensity workout type legging they're designed for with Luxstream. They are squat proof, they're sweat wicking. I saw the reviews, people really liked them and thought it was really flattering. They do have a bunch of pockets. They do have the double waistband and a drawstring. Some people complained it's loose, but I think that's good because it, it's meant for kind of smaller waist if you have a bit more stronger legs, which is good for higher intensity activities and then you can use the drawstring to tighten it. Uh, but some people did complain about it getting a little loose and but a lot of people thought these are really flattering. I love the design, it's pretty. So it's just a high intensity uh, legging, it's option out there now. I love this crescent tee. So this is anti uh, smell pretty much. And so that's kind of nice thing to throw on after a workout. You don't have to worry about it. It's super flattering where it's cinched right at the waist there. And I found it's very flattering on top, kind of a little bit of girly details, but just a simple t-shirt. You can't really go wrong with that ever. I love this. It also comes in some other kind of heathered styled colors and some kind of bit more pinky purple. I like the gray, it's simple. Just an easy thing to throw on during the springtime. It's lightweight, you can layer this, you could dress this up and obviously you can use this for post-workout, pre-workout or just kind of a warm up. Next up is this mix and mesh long sleeve top, which is so cute. Be warned, it is really thin, it is sheer, but it's just got some delicate details and it's just a nice thing if you're just doing low intensity workouts. I thought it was a really flattering cut at the top for sure. Are you doing? You're like, that's kind of weird. Are you creeping it real? Sorry. Was I just standing in the corner and <laughs> Yes, I'm so awkward. Anyways, this is just a nice lightweight long sleeve top that you can dress up. You can wear to kind of a Pilates, a yoga. The back is the most pretty part of it for sure. Backless tops are always in. They're always a staple if you have really pretty bra that can poke through. Keep in mind though, it is very sheer. You can definitely see right through it. So that's kind of a nice thing if you have a pretty bra you want to show off, it's perfect for that. Now this above the clouds jacket is so nice. It's a very lightweight jacket. I find it super flattering. It's nice for the springtime because it, you could kind of crumple it up. Yeah, I struggled so much with zipper. What I mean like crumpled up is it's just, it's very light. So if you just weren't really sure about the weather, you could easily throw it in your purse. And this has a kind of cool leather jacket-esque vibe, but breathable. It's got a bit of water resistance to it. I love this olive green color. Sorry, the lighting in this part of Lulu didn't really show it off, but it's a beautiful olive green. And this is just a really nice spring jacket to have that's lightweight and you can dress up or dress down. Next up is the free to be move bra and I really like this because it's a high performance but also a very pretty bra it comes in a bunch of different patterns I love how the band is a bit bigger there for support and I just love that look I do apologize it's kind of blurry here but the back the nice thing about it is how it's spread out and it's very flat is it won't dig into you so if you're someone who needs support so you want a sports bra that has a lot of straps at the back but you don't want ones that dig into you this is great for it. it's kind of got a medium scoop and I would say this is a medium support bra and it's got luxury stream, so it's good for if you're gonna sweat a ton. Now this is an awesome bra, and especially it's good a comparison versus the light bra. The thing is, it is the second bra Lulu has that gets rid of uni boob, <laughs> uh, lack of a better term. So it pretty much is able to separate your guys so you don't feel squished and compressed. This is a very supportive bra, especially for my bigger ladies, my C and Ds for high intensity, you definitely feel supported. But I like this not quite as chunky as the Elite bra, as much as it's pretty and it's good, I found there's a lot more material. So this is a great alternative if you want skinnier straps, you don't want to show as much of your sports bra in under tank tops. And this is a very supportive, great bra. 
Now these are on the fly shorts, which I am obsessed with. I think I might have reviewed them previously. And then also, haha, it's in French. Uh, just one of their like Power Y-esque tank tops. Uh, very similar. And then I love to pair those together and that's why I showed it. So the on the fly, what I love about it is it's the perfect running around downtown type of short and something you know you still want to be semi-stylish but you're moving around a lot it's good for traveling and i think it's very professional looking short in a lot of ways but still going to be stretchy sweat wicking super comfortable and then i love pairing it with a tank top like this so it's very like dressy athletic outfit so if you had, like you said you're running around downtown you want to wear something athletic but you still want to look semi-professional or put together it's great for that another one i love pairing together cool racer back that's a staple if you don't have one and it comes in the burnt orange which i love and the tracker shorts which are one of my favorites i really love the bands of these i do have a full review video of all lulu's different shorts so you can check that out and like i said this is just kind of a style i like i have a longer torso so i personally like to tuck the things in obviously you can wear it untucked but I just like how it kind of creates that silhouette and this is just an easy thing to throw on in the springtime. You could obviously work out in it, you could run in it, you could just hang out, have some cute shorts, throw on a nice jacket over top or a bomber. And it's a very just kind of athletic looking outfit that's very practical but cute. And like I said, that burnt orange, oh, the tracker shorts I really like, I find on me. I love the band and little pocket details. Then another staple is the baller hat from Lulu. I love this, it's just a very simple, hat and you can throw on it's sweat wicking I find it's really nice on a lot of people and yeah it's just an easy hat and also guys heads up I'm not gonna talk much about these but they have them in olive green the mesh tech wonder unders I have full review on if you want more details on this but the olive green in them is so nice and those are a few of my favorite pieces at Lululemon right now I love the colors they have in right next they have a lot of navy blues they have some nudes neutral so black grays whites and then they have a little they don't have red which is unfortunate but they have the burnt orange in which I'm obsessed with and they have a lot of olive green which makes me happy because those that's pretty much all I wear and that's my entire closet check out my Instagram if you don't believe me it is literally this anyone else anyone else let me know down in the comments if you have purchased any of these items we would love to hear a second review of course this isn't a review this is just an initial try on if there's any questions you have about specific items comment below and I'll make sure to answer them to the best of my ability if you have any requests for videos yeah throw that little comment you right there yeah be like guilty make this video review this item Da, 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 da. I appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit subscribe and join our mermaid tribe. We'd love to have you. I hope you have a fabulous day. Wear some stretchy pants, go work out, take on the world. Do you enjoy life? Life's good. Life's good. I sounded so Canadian there. Oh my God, I've never been more aware of my Canadian accent than I have the last few months. Do any of you hear it? I used to not think it was a thing and it's it's a thing. A boot about a... Just kidding, I don't talk like that sometimes. Oh, world's worst intro, world's worst conclusion. This video has gone longer than it should. Thank you for tuning in, like always. Have a fabulous day, love you all.